Uh, meantime, J.P. Morgan chases CEO Jamie Dimon speaking to CNBC at J.P. Morgan's India Summit. Here's what he had to say about a proposal by Democrats in the U.S. to tax the wealthy based on their net worth. A wealth tax is almost impossible to do. I'm not, but I, I'm not against having higher taxes than the wealthy. But I think that you should do that through their income as opposed to, you know, calculates the wealth, which become extremely complicated, uh, legalistic, bureaucratic, regulatory, and people find a million ways around it. Joining us right now is Peter Orzak, CEO of Lazard's Financial Advisory Business. There's so much to talk to Peter about, uh, given your background uh, running OMB and everything in Washington right now and what it means for our economy. But I did want to get your your thoughts uh, on uh, Mr. Diamond's comments related to a wealth tax, uh, given that uh, it has become at least a pillar for, for some uh, on, on, on the left uh, in terms of uh, what may or may not come if, uh, if Biden were to win. Well, a couple of comments. First, uh, I agree with uh, Jamie. A wealth tax is complicated. It's not impossible. Uh, four or so European countries have wealth taxes. They obviously are possible to do. But I think there are better ways of getting at that issue if you wanted to, if you were focused on progressivity, you know, for example, taking the state tax and making it an inheritance tax and um, really bolstering that is probably a better mechanism than a wealth tax. And then finally, I would just say, I think uh, whether any of these kinds of proposals actually happen or not depends not only on whether the uh, Democrats uh, take over the Senate, but also which kinds of Democrats get elected. And so I think there's a lot of uh, fear out there, if for lack of better uh, phrasing, about a far left uh, legislative agenda that I just don't think lines up with uh, looking at who the marginal Democrats are that would um, give the Democrats uh, a majority in the Senate. 